Bachnach, we shall have the Bachnach tonight and a bris tomorrow morning after Dabney, Shachar tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. It will be a short Dabney because there's no Tafney. It will be Shachar tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Vato, Vato Yisrael, Shema El Achukim Val Mishpotim Asher Ashom Kham Neitzim Lecham Ayoyim Lois Vesif Lois Sigur Mimenu. Kukim Mishpotim. The Torah and Mishra Torah are divided. The Angi tells Kukim and Mishpotim. Kukim are, you have Goyish and Lodge in English, the statutes, laws that are beyond uh, our, our logical comprehension. The mystery that we observe because of our fear and our love for the Rabbani Shlom, that's Chukim. Mishpatim are mysteries. And that cloud, and that goes like shatness, other mysteries of that sort, and that with our own Mr. Paraduma, uh, mysteries that with our own logical uh, our reasoning we cannot comprehend. Mishpatim are mysteries that, with, that uh, a person understands, and society, uh, many of them, society cannot exist uh, if, we don't, uh, if we don't live with, 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 uh, according to that standard. And then it's, uh, it, it, it's simply the reason that the father and the mother, we owe gratitude, we have to, we have to honor them, we shouldn't steal, we shouldn't kill. This, those are the, the, the category of Mishpati. You shouldn't add to the mitzvah, observe it just exactly the way it's given. And we shouldn't detract, uh, do the mitzvah uh, less than the proportion and, and the measurements, uh, exactly how it's given. Uh, the, we have to understand the uh, a little bit puzzling. Uh, what could be wrong? We understand that uh, detract from the mystery, so you'll be. Uh, it, it won't be complete. It won't be. You, you, you will not fulfill. It won't be the kind of mystery if you're taking away. You're doing it less than the prescribed and and the way it was given, the measurements and all the halach and the protein, the details of the mystery. If you don't do it according to that. So you, you don't fulfill the mystery, that we understand. But what could be wrong? Somebody wants to show he has very enthusiastic and he, and he loves the mystery, he wants to add to the mystery. What could be wrong with that? Well, first of all, the Bani Shlem, the Reb the Almighty, with his great wisdom, his infinite wisdom, so he gave us the mysteries exactly the way they should be done. And if we want to alter it, change it, add or detract, that means that we're adding a comment that the, that the mystery, the bunch of is something lacking in the mystery that we have to add or detract uh, the, the way the bunny son gave it. The, the, the shlem was, the, the mystery is complete. We have to observe it the way it was given exactly. Nothing more, nothing, not more than that. What could be wrong with, with adding to the mystery all this? There came a, uh, the, the uh, uh, Dun Magid says a very clever marshal. He says a, um, someone came to a neighbor of his and uh, he said, could he like to loan a level, a, a spoon? So he gave it to him. He come back the next day, he says, model to the level has got a level, had a baby, here's two of them. As we get number, I know how to say it's a great thing. What do you say? How could it? But as we get number, the next day he comes and he, or a couple days later, he says he wants to borrow a tepala, a pot. Borrows a pot, and he comes back uh, a couple days later. He brings him too. He says the tepala got that tepala. I thought some that's a great and somebody that's lost their reason. So go reason with him. So he takes it. Then uh, a while later he comes and he says, you know, I'm having uh, some very special guests and I want to make a rush, I want to make an impression on them. Uh, I would like to borrow for the night, I'd like to borrow a, uh, a candelabra, a lighter, a silver lighter. 
so as they can by oh can must some a hot mock me way says here the hot something that straighten he, he runs quickly and he gives him the life there because he figures they'll come back the next year to bring him too. So he ran as quickly as he could and he brings him the life there. Uh, a day passes and two and three and a week and he doesn't return the life there. So he's getting filled with anxiety. He's, uh, a life is not a temple and not a left that. Uh, and uh, he doesn't want to be, he wants to be nice about it because he's certain that eventually there's going, he's going to get two life there's two gold, silver life there's one. But he's still nervous. And he leaves most of the time. So he tries and tries. He comes with an idea. He comes knocking on the door. He says, from I was happen to be in the neighborhood, and I wanted to save you the trip of coming to bring you to me. So I figure I'll drop by, you'll give me the laughter. He said, take a seat. Oh my goodness here. I said, let's take a seat. He said, I like I don't like to be a bear, a bearer of sad tidings. He said the uh, life there, the candelabra went into labor and died in labor. He's outraged. He said, Me shiner. He said, Whoever heard of a candelabra going into labor? So he said, But he, he says, If a level can have a level and a temple can have a temple, and they go into to labor, they have temple. So then the candelabra can die in childbirth. If, if it will be left in our hands to add, so from the adding, it will come to subtract. There came to Basil Hildesheimer, there came a, a group of modern Yidim. They said, you know, it would be a good idea to streamline some of the misses. 613 is so much Maybe by streamlining some of the mitzvahs, it will attract more of the of the element. Uh, so, as you hold some told me, I'll tell you. He said that there was a um, uh, a man that was went into bankruptcy, and uh, he came to his to his creditor. And he said, you know, I'm an honorable person, he says, and I don't want to forget about the debt altogether. I owe you there in the place uh, uh, 10,000 rubles. He says, he says, I'll give you, let me give you 5,000 instead of 10. So he says, well, uh, sir, Elvis V. Gornish, uh, he wants to salvage something. So he says to him, all right, he says to him, if, you, if, you, if you're satisfied with 5 instead of 10, Give me the IOU, the note that I gave you. I owe ten thousand. He says, and I'll give you a note for five thousand. Ha! He says, Chochem, if you come with cash and you're ready to settle, he says, I'll take five thousand cash. But all, but all you're giving me is not giving me five thousand cash. You give me another IOU. He says, uh, What's going to stop you from coming six months later? And you ask me to give you back the IOU for five. And you want to sell it for two thousand? He said the same thing. He said he said let that ten thousand dollar debt, that ten thousand debt, twenty thousand debt, let that stay the way it is. If you should help him, if you be able to pay me, you'll pay me. When you be able, to, how you be able to pay me? But to take and tear up the original debt, he said that doesn't make sense. So the hundred said the same thing. He says we all stood our ancestors sat on Har Sinai, and we signed ourselves an IOU. That uh, 613 mysteries. They said, you, you can't do all 613. You do whatever you can. You know, t today you'll say, it's all right to, we should throw away uh, 300 mysteries, or 300 is enough. If six months later you come again, you'll say, uh, even 300 is too much. If it's too much, it's, too, it's always too much. If you cut down the, you know, the mysteries, the 600, that IOU. That we, uh, that we signed on Har Sinai, that let it stay intact. Today, observe whatever you can. Today, you'll do one mystery, tomorrow, you'll do another mystery. But to take and cut away mysteries, because you can't do it, then. Kanani ben Akashi Oimer, Rotsakori Vogel Zakish, Es Yisrael, the Pico Kibla.